I'm Tom Addington here on behalf of 8th and Walton, and today we're one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Matt Waller, who is at the University of Arkansas, and I really sort of need to read off your business card, Matt, to, to get all of these different titles here, because <laughs> they're very, very impressive. Garrison Chair in Supply Chain Management, Professor of Marketing and Logistics, Director of the Executive MBA Program, welcome. Thank you, thanks nice for, to be here. Thank you for hanging out with us. Hang, thanks for hanging out with us today. My we, pleasure. We are in these, in these interviews, Matt, centering <clears throat> in on issues of relevance to the supplier community in the Walmart world. And you, I've known you for, I don't know how many years, since, uh, uh, since you started working at the University of Arkansas for, for many, many years. And you are, and you've always been known as a supply chain kind of a guru, you do research in that area. But one of the things I like about you, have always liked about you, is that not only are you really, really good at the content and you're really very gifted in the theory of it, you always bring what you know down to a very, very practical application. Well, thank you, Tom. And so from the earliest years that I've known you at the University of Arkansas in an academic context, you have worked to apply what you have known in logistics directly to significant <clears throat> logistics uh, problems and, and, and uh, issues that need to be solved, including with Walmart and including with the supplier community here, but not limited to that. Um, I'd love for you to begin by sort of rewinding the tape for us and, and, and helping us understand how you got to where, uh, where you are here and why, why logistics, why are you interested in that whole okay. area? <clears throat> yeah, my, my area of interest is uh, retail and consumer product supply chain management and logistics. And um, because of that, this is certainly the best place in the world to be. Um, kind of ground zero. Exactly. So a lot of my research uh, is either focused on uh, replenishment and forecasting or global supply chain management, strategic global Which, supply chain management. And you just came back from a couple of years in China. Yes, that's connected right. Connected to a university in Shanghai. Uh, that's before right. Before you actually just showed back up in town here about a month ago. That's right. I, uh, while I was in China, living in China for uh, that time, I was running our executive MBA program there. We had one of our cohorts in China, and uh, we had uh, five executives from Walmart China and uh, several suppliers had uh, people in the program. And the other uh, half of my time was spent doing research on what makes U.S. multinationals successful selling into the China market. Not, not what makes them successful procuring from China, mm -hmm. but when U.S. multinationals go to China, how do they succeed? Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and he, I started doing that before I moved over there. I started working on that uh, about five years ago. I've interviewed lots of CPG executives mm -hmm. Uh, general managers. Mm -hmm. I lived in a neighborhood where many of them lived. Uh, it was a great opportunity. Um, and the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai uh, gave me lots of data uh, on the members. There, there's 3,800 members of the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai, and it's the fastest growing uh, Chamber of Commerce in the world. It's amazing what's going on in China. Amazing, amazing. But a lot of my research has also been uh, over the past 16 years uh, on uh, how suppliers to retailers can perform better in terms of uh, being in stock, uh, forecasting more accur accurately, reducing transportation costs, uh, reducing inventory costs, uh, improving the order fulfillment process, those kinds of things. Now, what you just went through, that small little grocery list that you just articulated, does that sort of define the parameters of what you mean when you, when you say the word logistics? Yes, yeah. Log logistics is the management of the flow and storage of inventory, such that total costs, which include like transportation, inventory, stockouts, are minimized and uh, customer service targets are achieved. But supply chain management's a little more broad than that. It includes the logistics process, but it also includes uh, the new item introduction process, uh, the order fulfillment process, those sorts of processes. So Matt, let me ask you this. If, if, if we're thinking on behalf of suppliers, um, 
who serve Walmart, okay? And we are focusing on the word and the whole technology in the area of logistics. Over the last 16 years, as you have watched this uh, whole area on site here in Northwest Arkansas take off, has it become more difficult and more complicated for suppliers to um, be successful in the part of logis their part of logistics to Walmart, or has it become has it become easier because of technology and other things? That's a great question, Tom. I think that it should have become easier, but it's become a little more complicated, and it's become more complicated because suppliers are not really learning and improving their practices. There's some exceptions, but I'll give you an example. You know, Walmart has gone to the trouble to provide POS data to the suppliers, and most retailers still don't do that. But the vast majority of suppliers still don't know how to use that information. Uh, most of them that I have seen really use it for creating reports. And there are, again, there's exceptions to this. But uh, there's a huge opportunity, and, and it's really unfortunate because there's no secrets here. You know, companies are often always, they're always afraid of their good ideas getting out, so they're very secretive. But the reality is, a lot of the companies that are even considered to be best in class in logistics in Northwest Arkansas aren't using that data as well as they could. Um, and I'll give you an example of some evidence of this. Uh, I'm always amazed when I read uh, you know, uh, advertisements for position announcements, job descriptions, retail link experience. You know, that's what they want. They want retail link experience. It would be like the New York Times advertising we want uh, writers with experience in uh, Microsoft Word. I mean, it's that ridiculous. And the problem is that a lot of the team leaders and management back at corporate headquarters, they know Retail Link has this data. They know about CPFR. They've heard about it. So they think that if someone has experience with it or knows how to manipulate the information system, that they're going to be able to do something with the data. But the reality is, someone could learn how to use those information systems very quickly. Um, where the real benefit comes is taking all that information and turning it into uh, uh, decision support. And uh, you can do it with Microsoft Excel and Access. There's, you really don't need sophisticated technology to do a lot of this. But uh, most of the suppliers uh, aren't.